Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revisiting Archive, a channel where we explore the captivating history of the world. In today's journey, we're diving into the epic tale of the Lusitanian War, a saga of untamed courage and unyielding spirit, led by indomitable Veratus. Picture a time when the Roman Empire reigned supreme, and the Iberian Peninsula stood as a coveted prize. Enter the Lusitanians, a fierce Celtic tribe dwelling in what we now call Portugal and Western Spain. Their passion for independence and their masterful guerrilla tactics set the stage for an epic clash with the all-powerful Romans. The Romans, driven by strategic interests and a thirst for conquest, descended upon the Iberian Peninsula during the Second Punic War, seeking to obliterate their ancient foes, the Carthaginians. But the Lusitanians stood in their way, unyielding in the defiance of Roman dominion. The Lusitanian War ignited in 155 BC, a spark of rebellion born from his treacherous Roman betrayal. In the heart of this resistance was Viriatus, a shepherd turned leader, whose charisma, courage, and strategic brilliance proved to be a force of nature. With a diverse coalition in Lusitanian, Vetan, Celtic, and Iberian allies, Viriatus unleashed a series of audacious ambushes, raids, and retreats, leaving the Romans confounded and frustrated. Viriatus not only outsmarted the Romans but also forged alliances with other enemies of Rome, creating a united front against their oppressors. He became a legend among his people and a relentless nightmare for the Romans, who desperately tried to quell his insurmountable spirit. However, the story takes a tragic turn in 139 BC, as three of Viriatus' own men betrayed him, resulting in his untimely demise. This somber event marked the end of Lusitanian resistance and the onset of Roman rule in the Iberian Peninsula. The legacy of Uriatus and the Lusitanian War endures to this day, etched into culture, language, and identity of the Portuguese people. Join us in unraveling this remarkable tale of valor, freedom, and indomitable spirit in our exploration of the Lusitanian War. Let's dive into the history of Lusitanian War one of the most remarkable episodes of resistance and heroism in the ancient world. The Lusitania War was a series of conflicts that took place between 155 BC and 139 BC during the Roman conquest of the Iberian Peninsula. The Lusitanians were a group of Celtic tribes who inhabited the western part of the peninsula is what is now known as Portugal and Western Spain. They were fierce warriors, skilled in guerrilla tactics, and proud of their independence and freedom. The Romans, on the other hand, were the masters of the Mediterranean world, with a powerful army, a sophisticated administration, and a vast empire. They were interested in the Iberian Peninsula for its strategic location, its natural resources, and its trade routes. They also wanted to eliminate the influence of their enemies, the Carthaginians, who had established colonies along the coast. The Romans began their invasion of the peninsula in 218 BC, during the Second Punic War against Carthage, they gradually subdued the various peoples who lived there, imposing their laws, taxes, and culture. However, they faced fierce resistance from some of the native tribes, especially the Lusitanians, who refused to accept Roman domination. The Lusitania War started in 155 BC, when a Roman governor named Servius Sulpicius Galba decided to betray and massacre a large number of Lusitanian warriors who had come to negotiate a peace treaty. This treacherous act provoked a violent uprising among the Lusitanians who swore to avenge their fallen comrades and to fight their freedom. The leader of this uprising was a man named Briatus, who became the most important and influential figure of the Lusitanian war. Briatus was a shepherd who became a hunter then a soldier and finally a leader. He was a charismatic and courageous man who inspired his followers with his example and his words. He was also a brilliant strategist who knew how to exploit the terrain and the weaknesses of his enemies. Briatus led his army, supported by most of the Lusitanian and Vetan tribes, as well as by other Celtic and Iberian allies, to several victories over the Romans between 147 BC and 139 BC. He used a combination of ambushes, raids, and retreats to avoid direct confrontation with the superior Roman forces. He also formed alliances with other enemies of Rome, such as the Numantines in northern Spain and the Celtiberians in central Spain. 
Uriatis became a legend among his people and a nightmare for the Romans, who could not defeat him or capture him. He was admired by his friends and respected by his foes, who recognized his valor and his skill. He was also feared by the Roman governors, who tried to bribe him, to trap him, and to assassinate him. The Lusitania War ended in 139 BC, when Viriatus was killed in his sleep by three of his own men, who had been bribed by the Roman governor Quintus Servilius Caipo. His death was a tragic and shameful event that marked the end of the Lusitania resistance and the beginning of the Roman domination of the peninsula. The Lusitania War was a remarkable example of the struggle for freedom and dignity against oppression and injustice. It was also a testimony of the courage and the spirit of the Lusitanian people, who fought against overwhelming odds to defend their land and their way of life. The legacy of Uriathus and his war is still alive today, in the culture, the language and the identity of the Portuguese people. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new and interesting about the Lusitanian War, Uriathus and the quest for freedom. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. See you in another video. And as always, keep revisiting the archive.